I want to show you how you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot in Word, in PowerPoint, in Outlook, along with Dynamics 365 Business Central. So let's take a look at it. So one thing I can do easily in Word is I can create a user document based on information and processes in Dynamics 365 Business Central. So what I want to do is I'm going to create a user document that shows how to create a general journal entry in Dynamics 365 Business Central. And what I need to do in Copilot is to give it a prompt so it knows what to do. So let's use this prompt. This is a simple prompt. I just keyed in the text. I can also reference another document if I wanted to do that. But I'm just going to go ahead and generate it here in Word. And we'll watch it go through the process. You can see that it gives you nice formatting right out of the box. And this is why it's nice to have Copilot inside of Word, because it will do the formatting for you. So it's giving a fairly long list of instruction on how to create a general journal entry in Dynamics 365 Business Central. You probably don't want to take it just the way it is. You want to fit it to your company, to your business processes. But this is an easy way to start. It's easy to take stuff out. If you want to add little things here and there, you can do that. And what I'm going to do here is at the bottom, I'm going to keep this. I could rerun it if I want to, but I'm going to keep it. And now it's a saved document in Microsoft 365. So let's try one more thing that I can do with Copilot inside of Word. Let's get rid of this prompt and let's go right up here to Copilot. These are some standard prompts that you can use with Copilot. So what I want to do now is I want to summarize the document that we just created. So to do that, I'm going to go back into a new Word document. I'm going to invoke Copilot and we'll see what it does. So what I wanted to do is summarize. I put a forward slash here. It's going to look up other documents and give me the opportunity to even find other items on the cloud or in my Microsoft 365. Here's the document that we just created. So I'm going to open that up and I'm going to generate it. So it's going to go through this, look at the document that we just created. It's going to generate a summarization of that. So I'm done and I'm going to keep this as well because I can use this in my user document on how to use Dynamics 365 Business Central. So I'm going to keep that. Another thing I can do is automatically create a PowerPoint presentation using Copilot. So let's do that. I've got a blank presentation here. I'm going to invoke Copilot. I'm going to put a simple prompt in. Here's the user document that we just created. So I'm going to click on that. Now Copilot has all it needs to create a presentation in PowerPoint. So let's start it. So it's done creating the PowerPoint presentation. You probably don't want to take this and go right into a presentation, but this gives you an easy place to start on a presentation. All the slides are built out. You're going to want to adjust them, of course, but let's take a look at them here. If we scroll down on the left-hand side, you can see the different slides. It puts in images where it makes sense. I've got a complete presentation here. It also puts in speaker notes for you as well. So this is an easy way to start on a presentation. If you've got an idea, something you want to do in PowerPoint, you can start it off with Copilot and then work from there. This will save you a lot of time. Before we continue, if you like this type of content, the best way to support us and to help others find this content is to subscribe to our channel, activate the notifications, and share your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for helping us grow this channel. Let's get back to the demonstration. I want to show you how you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot in Outlook with Dynamics 365 Business Central. Here we've got an email from a customer and they're asking me some information about some chairs, some office chairs. And there's a couple messages in this string. So one thing Copilot allows me to do is get a summary of all the interactions in the different email messages. Let's get a summary right now. So I really like this because there's a number of different messages in this thread. And the summary from Copilot lists all the important items in order, and this is going to be really helpful. So another thing I can do in Outlook is place the order directly in Business Central. Let's we'll go up here to the apps, here's my Business Central app, and then Contact Insights 
will open up a window that connects directly to Business Central. And when it does that, it's going to read the email address. It's going to find out the customer associated with that. You can see that right here. It's also going to scan the email looking for clues on what the customer may want. So let's open up a new order here. And it correctly discovers that the customer wants some chairs. So I've got a number of different chairs. So I hit resolve item. It's going to show me all the chairs in the inventory. I can scroll over a little bit to the right and get more information on that. So I'm just going to select this one. And I'm going to select another one. Select this one here. I'm going to go over and change the quantities. I want one of each. I'm going to hit OK. And it's going to create an order in Business Central. You can see the sales order right there. And this is ready to go. It's already in the ERP system. So I'm going to reply back to the customer telling her that I send out those two chairs. I can easily do that here. Hit reply. And I'm going to use Copilot to help me out. So this is my basic message, but I want Copilot to take another look at it. So I'm going to generate a better response. So I like this just a little bit better. I'm going to use that. I'm going to keep it. Do a little formatting. Send it off to the client. And that's it. So I use Copilot in Outlook to help me summarize the email string and also provide a better response to my client. So in this demonstration, I showed you how you can use Microsoft 365 Copilot inside of the Office products in Word and PowerPoint and also with Outlook and reference information that's in Business Central. This is going to be a powerful tool. I expect it's going to become better and better. And this is something you may want to check out right now and get an idea of how you might use it in your business.